certificate of vote from the state that purports to be a return of the state as annexed to it a certificate from authority of the state purporting to appoint and ascertain electors. Mr. President, the certificate of the electoral vote of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania seems to be regular in form and authentic, and it appears therefrom that Joseph R. Biden, Jr. of the state of Delaware received 20 votes for president, and Kamala D. Harris of the state of California received 20 votes for vice president. For what reason does the gentleman from Pennsylvania rise? Mr. President, sadly but resolutely, I object to the electoral votes of my beloved Commonwealth of Pennsylvania on the grounds of multiple constitutional infractions that they were not, under all of the known circumstances, regularly given. And on this occasion, I have a written objection signed by a senator and 80 members of the House of Representatives. Is the objection in writing and signed by a senator? Yes, Mr. President, it is. An objection presented in writing and signed by both a representative and a senator complies with the law. Chapter 1, Title 3 of the United States Code. The clerk will report the objection. We, a United States senator and members of the House of Representatives, object to the counting of the electoral votes of the state of Pennsylvania on the ground that they were not, under all of the known circumstances, regularly given. Signed, Josh Carley, United States Senator, Scott Perry, Member of Congress. Are there further objections to the certificates from the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania? The chair hears none. The two houses will withdraw from joint session. Each house will deliberate separately on the pending objection and report its decision back to the joint session. The Senate will now retire to its chamber.